Hi all, welcome back to Ara Digital. I'm your friend Harshit. I'm very delighted to tell you about a special course that we are bringing for our viewers. For this course, IT professionals easily give up from 25,000 to 1.5 lakhs. Yes, you heard it right. It is no less than a complete hands-on course in which our expert will take you on a journey of understanding Big Data Hadoop framework along with Spark and Scala. By the end of it, you will be confident enough to crack interview questions for Hadoop relevant job roles. So please watch the complete video to understand more about this course. With the help of this presentation, we'll be discussing about the Big Data Hadoop training modules that we will be covering. I would like to mention here that this is a full Big Data Hadoop course, which is equivalent to 30 days of training. Similarly, Spark and Scala covered in our training will be equivalent to 30 days of training elsewhere. After that, we'll be helping our viewers with important interview tips and question and answers, which will help them surely in their interviews. So what is Big Data? And what is Hadoop? And how they are related? Let's find out. The definition of Big Data is that data that contains greater variety, arriving in increasing volumes, and with more velocity. Put simply, Big Data is larger, more complex data sets, especially from new data sources. These data sets are so voluminous that traditional data processing software just can't manage them. Some real world big data examples are discovering consumer shopping habits, personalized marketing, monitoring health conditions through data from variables, live road mapping for autonomous vehicles, streamlined media streaming, predictive inventory ordering. Now, let's discuss something about Hadoop. Hadoop is an open source Java based framework used for storing and processing big data. The industries that are using big data to transform business models and improve performance in many areas would be retail, manufacturing, financial services, media and telecommunications, advertising and public relations, energy, government and even healthcare and life sciences. With emerging big data industries trends in almost all sectors, there is an increasing demand to hire Hadoop developers. Companies using big data are looking to hire Hadoop developers who are skillfully talented and well versed with the practical implementations of Hadoop open source. Below are the modules covered in Hadoop course. The file system used in Hadoop framework is known as HDFS. The Hadoop distributed file system is a distributed file system designed to run on commodity hardware. Second module would be Hive. Hive allows users to read, write, and manage petabytes of data using SQL. Hive is built on top of Apache Hadoop, which is an open source framework used to efficiently store and process large datasets. Coming to the next module, that is PIG, Apache PIG is a platform for analyzing large datasets that consists of a high level language for expressing data analysis programs, coupled with infrastructure for evaluating these programs. The next module will be HBase. HBase is a column oriented non relational database management system that runs on top of Hadoop distributed file system. The next module will be Scoop. Apache Scoop is a tool designed for efficiently transferring bulk data between Apache Hadoop and structured data stores such as relational databases. Next module will be Uzi. It is a workflow scheduler system to manage Apache Hadoop jobs. Another module is Hue. It is a web interface for analyzing data with Apache Hadoop. Another module that we'll be covering is Cloudera. Cloudera's open source platform is the most popular distribution of Hadoop and related projects in the world with support available via a Cloudera Enterprise subscription. And the last module will be MapReduce. MapReduce is a programming model and an associated implementation for processing and generating big data sets with a parallel distributed algorithm on a cluster. The second section of the training, that is Spark and Scala course, covers below modules. First, Spark. Apache Spark is a unified analytics engine for big data processing with built-in modules for streaming, SQL, machine learning, and graph processing. Another module that is Spark course, it provides distributed task dispatching, scheduling, and basic input output functionalities. 
Spark uses a specialized fundamental data structure known as RDD, that is Resilient Distributed Datasets. That is a logical collection of data partitioned across machines. Another module is Spark SQL. Spark SQL is a Spark module for structured data processing. It provides a programming abstraction called data frames and can also act as a distributed SQL query engine. Next module will be Spark Hive. Apache Hive supports analysis of large datasets stored in Hadoop's HDFS and compatible file systems such as Amazon S3 file system. It provides an SQL-like language called HiveQL with schema on read and transparently converts queries to Hadoop MapReduce, Apache Tez and Apache Spark Jobs. Next module will be automated Spark Jobs. We will also study about automating the Spark Jobs through scripts and Uzi. The last module will be Scala. It is designed to grow with the demands of its user from writing small scripts to building a massive system for data processing. Scala is used in data processing, distributed computing, and web development. The question is, is this course right for you? This course is intended for freshers and IT professionals who want to equip new and hot technologies for a better job opportunities. The course helps you to become ready for job role of Hadoop developer, whose role typically looks like below. To build, operate, monitor, and troubleshoot Hadoop infrastructure develop tools and libraries and maintain processes for other engineers to access data and write MapReduce programs, develop documentation and playbooks to operate Hadoop infrastructure, and write software to ingest data into Hadoop. Talking about the prerequisites, to get along with this course, you just need below things. System with 8 GB RAM, basic Java programming, and most important, your support. Please like and share this video if you found it useful and subscribe to our channel. So the last module for this course will be important question and answers and interview tips. We'll be helping you guys with the important and the latest questions that are being asked in the interviews these days. This will be done by the experts having 10 plus years of experience in Hadoop. Thank you for watching this video and remember to like, subscribe and share.